so instructional design at its core, you could say, is about creating situations that facilitate learning. Um, and so the more you know about how learning works, um, the better you can plan those um, situations. And really, as a science, what you're trying to do is take what you know about what you've studied and predict the outcome of what, how you're going to apply that. So let's say you want a certain outcome. Um, if you can't predict that what you're doing in training or in teaching or in any other type of intervention is actually going to produce that outcome, you're kind of lost. So the more basis you have in research for what you're doing, the more predictable your outcomes are going to be. Emerging technologies like XAPI allow us to do more sophisticated gap analysis uh, to determine what training an individual actually needs. Uh, it allows us to track what happened during the training and then measure at the end the effectiveness of the training. The good news is you can use these technologies, you can use these moving targets to actually inform how you design the training. And then you can use uh, the variety of technologies uh, that have been with us and the newer ones that you can combine modalities. Combining them creatively is, I think, the key. So I think what happened is when the internet and telecommunications um, technology first came around, the limitations of the early iterations of those technologies really dictated to a large part how the instructional design took shape. And now the Web 2.0 and even Web 3.0 semantic web uh, type technologies are really taking hold. Uh, the possibility to bring the teacher back into the classroom or into the learning experience is um, becoming more and more reasonable expectation, I think. You really have the possibility, the opportunity for learners to teach each other what they know about a subject. So what the impact of that on instructional design is, we can't just think about taking our training that was in the classroom and putting it online anymore. We have to think about how we get people to teach each other, how we get communities to spread what they know about any given topic to the rest of the people trying to enter that that community. So one of the more desirable characteristics of the future uh, workforce are having people that know where to find out what they need to know in order to do their job. Because the workplace is changing every day. People's jobs are changing every day. So giving them the technology and the means to find out quickly what they need to know is key.